Hi garden scientists! Today's activity is a mystery scavenger hunt. For this activity, all you'll really need is an egg carton or anything that has two sections. So this is one section, this is another section. You could also just use two containers, like I have these two baskets. That would also work. So step one is to get your container. Step two is to come up with two categories to describe the things that you are going to find on your treasure hunt. So those could be two opposite things like rough and smooth or thick and thin. And I will list right now a lot of other describing words that you could use, but you could also come up with your own categories. Step three is to go out and find those things. You're going to put one of the categories on one side, one on the other side. And the mystery is that then you're going to trade with the partner that you are doing this activity with, and they are going to have to guess to see if they can figure out what your categories were. So I have come up right now with two mystery categories. I'm going to actually write them down on the bottom of my egg carton. You could also do it on a piece of tape or a piece of paper, and then you could take it off and do it over and over again. But then I will be right back with my mystery treasures. All right, I'm back with my mystery treasures. I'll show them to you right now. So on the top, we have our friend, the talking frog. We have a rock, a dried bean, a bottle cap, a tiny skateboard, and a penny. Hmm, what do you think all these things have in common? What is the top category? On the bottom, we have this feather. We have a felt heart that Miss Keen gave me for Peace Week. We have this leaf. We have a rubber band, a hair scrunchie, and a little duck that my friend knitted me. What do the things in the bottom have in common? Now, what could the categories be for both of these treasures? Did you make your guesses? I'm going to give you five more seconds to lock in your guess. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and now for the big reveal. My two categories were hard and soft things. Did you guess that? I can't wait to see what you come up with for your own mystery treasure hunts. And I have a new way for you to share that information with not just me, but also the other members of our Peabody community. I've made a site called a Padlet. I will post the link next and then also in the description. On this site, I will have links to all of our videos and our descriptions. And there you can post pictures and videos and comments of your own so that the other folks in our Peabody community can see them. Now, don't worry, I have to approve it first before it gets posted up. So we'll make sure that all comments are appropriate, but it's a great way to see what other Peabodyans are up to. Now, after this activity, please remember to put your treasures back where you found them, and then you can do it again and again. I hope you enjoyed this, and I can't wait to see what you come up with.